I didn't expect to buy shrapnel. I didn't. But now I've researched it, it's an absolute no-brainer. And as a result, I've actually gone and done it. So I didn't see this coming, guys. But this is a video of mine you're really going to want to watch all the way through. There's going to be a different format. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to pose the questions that I ask myself and then answer them. So there's less waffle and more to the point answering those specific questions. Therefore, if there's a question that you're not interested in, you can just skip and move to the next one. But this is like printing money to me. I know that that sounds very salesy and shilly, and, but I'm not that kind of guy. And I've not got excited on reviewing one for quite a while now. But this one really has caught my attention. And, it, and yeah, it, it just forced me to buy it. So, yeah, I've got loads of good stuff for you guys. Of course, I'm going to be biased. You can be judged of that. But I've got things like what the big news is, why now's the time to capitalise on it, and also what my strategy is going to be on this and why I'm so pumped. And you know, I really do believe that there's, I don't want to say easy money, but I think it is. I genuinely think it is. So, but you can be the judge. Let's get on with it. So, what's the story with it? The gist is that there's been a meteorite, it's hit Earth, it's caused a shitstorm governments and so forth are getting involved and then there's a group called the EMF which is uh, known as the Mercenary Extraction Forces or MEF should I say and th they've got new technology and the idea is they're going to be discovering this new zone if you like so that's that's the backstory to it so what's the opportunity here as they see it the condensed version of this is that they feel the time is right uh, as a result of generations of hundreds of millions of players being raised on Minecraft and Rollerbox so they're getting old enough to earn and spend their own money and are likely to choose competitive multiplayer games and also fulfil their desire to create and share a community of their own age. Shrapnel's player creation tools are designed for them a more realistic look and real world value. So you can see here the kind of stuff that they've got going on. Up until now no blockchain had made it possible for any multiplayer FPS that could mod and make their own but now the technology is there and this is what Sharp Shrapnel is bringing to the table. What's the gameplay like? I'll let you be the judge. Yeah, have a look, check this out. But I'm no expert on gameplay per se, so I did a bit of research and I come across this video by Crypto Stash, so shout out to him. And I watched all of this actually, and he interviewed a so-called gaming expert, and he actually put this for now in the A tier, which is like B, if, I mean, it says A, B, whatever, but ultimately the second best one but equally saying it's got potential to be in the very, very top. So this just gave me a bit of peace of mind, taking him at face value that he does know what he's talking about and he is a so-called game expert, that it really ranks up there with the very best games. Got this from their white paper though, and this obviously gives me more confidence. These are other apparent top games and you can see their features that they've got. And Shrapnel has got the whole lot of them. So this further supports the notion that this really is a top, top game. And then I'm just going to run through the actual gameplay in terms of what to expect. So in Shrapnel, players are tasked with finding and extracting valuable resources, entering the zone as operators for one of the MEFs, which we spoke about earlier. Many other operators are also vying for these resources in the zone resulting in a tense, high-stakes, competitive environment that encourages risk-taking and rewards skill. Players outfit their operators with gear to fit their desired playstyle before entering the zone. Gear, in the form of NFTs, is dropped on death-forcing players to weigh constantly shifting odds of success in every choice they make. In addition to the gear dropped by operators killed in action, Players can also collect the mysterious compounding Sigma after collecting their loot. Players must fight their way 
to one of several contested extraction locations and survive long enough to escape and claim it as their own. Successfully extracted loot, NFTs, are then placed in the player's persistent inventory, which the player uses to build their loadouts in future sessions. So loadouts, my understanding, is like weapons and their gear. As the player pool shrinks, the extractions become more dangerous, every choice becomes meaningful, strategies will evolve, alliances will emerge and crumble, and the stakes will rise with potentially dire consequences. Now, on the gameplay, what I just want to add here is why I think this will be addictive is the joy of actually nailing people you know in fun terms. Obviously, not killing people really, but you know what I mean. And then nicking, <laughs> picking up a want better expression, their stuff to which you can make money on. Okay? Which nicely brings me to how to play his own money with it. Four types that can make money here you've got players, creators, curators, and landowners. So, players, they can buy the gear, extract it from game sessions, and they can sell it in the marketplace. Creators can make anything from vanity items to customised weapons, maps and map objects as well as profit from the economic value they create. Curators who successfully discover great content for the community to enjoy will also get a share in the profits. And landowners where it's pretty similar but in terms of land so they're getting a fair share of the spoils. So there's four different ways people can play this game to earn and what comes across from reading their white paper is Shrapnel want players to earn a lot of money, and there's evidence of this when you see the pool of the graphs, which we'll come to later. And to get that loyalty, to get that dedication, and and really want to play it and and benefit from actually earning money. So, what are the players trying to achieve? Now, I'm not going to go through all this in depth, in depth, but the gist of this is that there's two zones. So you've got um, one which is the, the promotion land, and then you've got the podium, okay? And when you get to the podium, it's about maps, and you can see how you can progress here. And when we come onto this next slide, you're either gonna get that map rejected, or then you're gonna get rewarded, and you're gonna go over here in, in the top six. So it's competitive, and you're always trying to push and push and get rewarded. Now there's a big thing about vanity in this thing and I can see this being another addictive side to it like it's almost like a brag off, cock off if you want I've got the best gun, I've got the best weapon, I've got the best gear and there's an opportunity to create some really cool shit that you either nick off people or you find and of course you've better, your finds will be better as there's less players in a game because they become more rare and then you've also got mission rewards so you've got the opportunity to re receive sharp rewards at regular intervals by, partic by participating in goal-orientated missions. What will make it addictive? I've already shot myself in the foot and given this away, so forgive me. But yeah, this is basically that by nature, fighting games do do well, so they're already addictive as it is. But when you add into the mix that you compete in you know, against potentially people that you know, you can get this stuff and you can make NFTs. You can actually go and sell it on the marketplace. And that's only if you're a player. You've obviously got the other ways of profiting with this. But I think, you know, that buzz factor of being able to pick stuff up um, off other players that you've actually killed within the game will make it really addictive. Um, as well as progressing and failing you, you're going to fail in this game it's going to it's not going to be a walk in the park but then the reward of getting further in the podium and wanting to do that this is primarily why I, I see it's got legs and also in the white paper it goes on about how these type of games do so much more better the stats on uh, the gameplay time and so forth so yeah it it's appears to be in the right market of or right genre of games. So what is the big news? The big news is, and this is only from a few days ago, they made the decision to actually launch this in the new year. This is huge. And not only that, they've got a three million dollar prize fund. 
or price pool should I say so people are just I mean naturally you're just going to want to earn it aren't you if you love playing games and you want to earn some money it's an absolute no brainer but of course not only is it big news that this is going to be launched in the new year what you know it's in terms of what that actually does for price as we know when shit gets launched that becomes more hype and I'm going to elaborate on this later but you definitely need to know about this so what's the community like well they're on just shy of 20,000 watch lists always a good sign in terms of popularity for investors but check this out 332 nearly 33,000 followers on Twitter and I'd look at their community and not far off 100,000 members with eight and a half thousand circa online actually now so again more ticks great community are they well funded fuck yeah <laughs> it is evidence of it but the longs and shorts of it is 37 million dollars has been invested into this game so it's right up there you know with the biggest games investments is my understanding is the team any good oh yeah so you've got enemy award-winning creative powerhouse and he's not the only one who's an M M &E. so like M &M. no I don't Emmy he's not the only Emmy award-winning individual they've got on their um, staff if you like but just look at the years experience 16 years in games and publishing he's had over 30 titles on every system right she's had 20 years of collaborating with leaders across tech uh, landscape community 20 years in games with 75 games another Emmy award winning team builder and this is just a snippet their team is fucking colossal it's huge so I, yeah I, I'm not hyping this up more than it needs to but I've, I've been looking at a few projects now and this is a team that has on paper anyway of course I don't know these guys but I'm taking it at face value in terms of their credentials it's fucking impressive. What are the tokenomics like? Now you can see here only 8.03% is actually in circulating supply of their tokens. So at first glance, not great. However, this thing's only been live since November, so we can't punish them for that. It's going to be the same with any project. You know, I've seen even less than that on some projects released about the same time. So I think we've got to take a balanced view on that side of things but I did take a look at their white paper on it so there's some good points here Shark will be issued as an ERC20 token and deployed on Avalanche shortly afterwards at the token Genesis event 3 billion Shark tokens will be created as the token supply which will never increase so there's two good things there they're on Avalanche, not Ethereum. I believe we all know that Avalanche is a lot cheaper than Ethereum and it's the one getting the hype right now. And I can see that continue to be the case throughout the bull run. Of course, we'll have to see. But also, they're telling us it will never increase. So no other tradable tokens are anticipated to be created or minted. Sharp tokens will be distributed and locked as follows. So it's really pleasing to see that they're not planning on doing it. I mean, does this mean that they'll stick to it? Of course, we don't know. But at least in this particular white paper of this project, they've actually stated it. Now, what stands out here is that there's an awful lot in community rewards and team and advisors. This is higher than a lot of other projects. But equally, I think this is a great thing because if you're getting the kind of people working on this team they're going to cost some serious money ultimately but they're committed to seeing it being successful clearly not only because of their professionalism but because of how much bloody money they're going to make from this thing so that gives me huge confidence in this project really working well as long as the rest of the tone economics also work for this game to survive and I believe that they must have worked all this out to ensure it does because it's in their own self-interest i think it's a money-making machine for themselves and we can be a byproduct of that money making if you like and, and all profit from it what i also like is that 
33% is community rewards, which is going to obviously help in terms of this becoming successful. And as you saw earlier, they're putting three million in the pot for players to win. So that's also going to help with the whole project if the, those playing the actual game are going to get rewarded, doesn't it? So all looking good. If we take a look at this, this is the unlock schedule. Now, if November, November is obviously down here, so we can see that things aren't really going to get going for probably another year on this. So that means there's not going to be coins coming in, to, uh, being released to dilute the price. And this is why I think it's such a, a fantastic opportunity. You know, we have to take it with a pinch of salt because it said they can alter it. But equally, the timing of this is brilliant because the halving is coming in around about here, four or five months from now, and things are going to kick on. But guess what? This isn't getting diluted. So, yeah, this has got me excited. This has got me excited, and this has a big say in why I invested it. And I'll, I'll get to this later in the video why I think it's absolute no brainer to get into this. Right, to figure out the risks on this thing, I'm going to copy the contract address and come over to DeFi and bang that in there. Let's see what it comes back with. A hundred out of a hundred, guys. Okay, so let me just hover, here we go. The score provides an indication of how safe the contract is based on our analysis. We take into account both the amount and the severity of detected issues. Please use this as guideline, blah, 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 do your own research. 90 to, 90 to 100 is green, no risks detected. Awesome. Yes, there is some attention required. I've not seen one yet that just has 100, 100 and nothing's required. Many of these projects aren't perfect. Now, that said, you need to be mindful of this. So, they obviously don't feel there's much threat of this, but they have not ticked it off either. So they're saying a private wallet owns a significant percentage of this token's total supply. Now, just to let you know, I've seen this say this before, and, and I've seen evidence where one account only has 19%, so I take that with a pinch of salt. Equally, you need to be mindful of it. Normally, I'd be able to validate, and there's use Earth scan here, but there isn't. And in fact, this leads nowhere when I press it, it my browser doesn't um, like it. But also on Earth scan, there's only a few hundred. I just don't think it has the right data. I just fail to see this only having a few hundred uh, account holders. I just just think the data's off personally. Uh, with all the hype and how big this is. I, Really, only a few hundred when it's on this many watch lists and it's got over 300,000 on Twitter and what eight? How many was in the community? There were shitloads, there's about 9,000 online. So I'm just not buying it. Um, Mintable, one of the most common ones to be highlighted. Well, yeah, there can be, but equally to contradict, well, not to contradict it, to combat that, they've made a point of saying in their white paper they don't, you know, they're, they're not looking to do this. So that's peace of mind and no interaction with the smart contracts in 30 days person doesn't worry me at all um, I think this is a really good indicator general indicators there's a few more here to be honest I don't even understand a lot of what this is I'm no expert within this but it, the important thing to take away here guys is that also there's also a shitload ticked and that it's got a DeFi score of 100 out of 100 now you've seen me in other videos, go and put it through another scanner. I'm not using that one for now until I've worked out how to correctly use it. I've tried joining their Telegram but then it won't let me join groups. There's too many options and I'm too concerned that I might give the wrong impression of data um, through no fault of my own. Whereas I actually spoke to support on this and they confirmed the right way of, of doing it and that is to actually drop in the contract into that search. So. For now I'm more comfortable this gives a fair representation so I'm going to stick with it for now so in terms of the risks I'm mega comfortable on this and I'm not surprised it's good when you consider the money and the team that's got you know got behind it 
obviously the only slight concern may be from a dump perspective the, you know the amount of account holders but for me personally it doesn't worry me but that's up to you to potentially look into further and make your own mind upon that said whether you're concerned or not about being dumped on there's not even going to be that much of a percentage to dump on you anyway even if these were dodgy as hell and I think that's worth noting isn't it depending on when you're looking to get out of this so yeah even if you are concerned about it the percentage is yeah it's not, it's not doing anything until well over a year so there's massive gains to be had even in that interim even if you don't hold throughout the whole bull run I think that's a really important note to take into consideration we're nearly at the conclusion guys stick with me two more to go before then here we go quickly how does it rank against its competitors you'll have seen this before if you're, new, if you're not new to the channel I like having a look on this site basically I it gives you an indication to how competitors are being ranked within their criteria but I've not seen a higher one yet in fact this is the highest one that I've seen so it's it ranks 31st amongst 441 competitors but look what kind of companies it's saying are competitors it's putting engine which is a parent uh, parent currency used on the ethereum blockchain for Christ's sake so yeah this is another box tick for me what x will this do the all-important question you can see here we've got a market cap of 77 million so how high can this thing go no one no one knows and it all depends if you're doing your calculations from circa what a lot will say the 8 trillion market cap we're going to get for the whole market or 15 personally i think it'll be closer to eight but again no one knows but what this has got going for it well, it's got loads going for it but I can see it getting the hype it's in the right narrative I can see it doing really well some are calling 100x personally I don't see it could happen hope it happens because I've bought the fucking thing for me from this kind of level I'm looking to achieve probably a 50 maybe on a good day 60x I think I'm trying to be conservative and realistic but yeah that's that's kind of where I'm thinking um, but again do your own research and, and look into it but that's given the market cap size I don't see it doing a hundred X we finally made it guys if you're still here well done thank you we're at the conclusion so let's start off with the negatives there really isn't any is there as far as I can see so you know I put it to the test and yes it did flag one or two things that maybe weren't 100% tick but we have to be realistic here I'm not seeing one yet that is like that it's still got 100 out of 100 for a gaming coin in the right narrative something that is colossal doesn't personally worry me but that's down to yourself but equally like I said in the risk section even if there was a dump risk there's no there's there's hardly any coins being released to dump on you so this kind of mitigates the risk for me it makes me feel a, a lot more comfortable about it now to the positives so where do we start team for starters wow just wow it's an a cast lineup isn't it it really is so we've got the team the gameplay you've seen looks really good to me i've also found out uh, i've also found a proper gamer who rates it so that's secondary confirmation that it's a good game and we shouldn't be surprised because another plus is the mega funding this project has had do we think something that's had 37 million put into it is going to fail? I just don't see it. I mean, there's no guarantees. And yes, it is a competitive market, but $37 million. So the funding, the team, the game itself, the, f the pool price to kick all this off, you know, they're giving 3 million away. I can see people getting excited about it. Are people going to get addicted to it? Yes, I think they've got the interconnections with regards to the gameplay good. Killing other characters is nothing new, but the way in which it's done and the fact that you can get something more out of than just killing a character by actually profiting from their loot and the vanity thing, I hate to say it, loads of people are vain, I want to be the best, best that there is and, and show off and build all these fancy tools and whatnot. I can see that working really well and being really addictive. I think that's another big plus for this project. It ranks well in its competitors. 
yeah, I just, and of course we did the risk assessment and it's in the right narrative. I just, I, yeah, I just buzz in for this one. But here's the thing, the reason why I'm so excited is not maybe to hold this for all of the bull run, but I can see, if we think about the halving being here, prices could be going like that. And especially with this not being diluted. So I think there's a real exciting opportunity to get into this and do what, a 10, 15, who knows what X in the up and coming months. And my strategy with this, certainly as things stand, and of course it, I'll see what the market's doing, but if this starts to pan out, I'll be looking to take a good chunk, if not all my money out of this, because we'll still be early enough for me to repurpose that money and put in other coins that haven't pumped or haven't pumped that much or new coins to then really kick on with my X and my portfolio. So that's why this is a no brainer along with all the pluses that this has got going for it. So if you're looking for a gaming coin and you don't want to be shitting yourself about whether it's going to fall down the pan, then I think this is one to jump in on. All right, guys, hope you really enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you loved it. Speak to you soon.